I'm going to do a quick uh, demonstration of my oxalic acid uh, vapor treatment for mite control in beehives. Okay, here's my beehive, Queen Victoria. Now I've got the entrance. Here's the entrance of the hive right down there. It's winter time. You can see by the ice and stuff, it's pretty chilly out, but it's not super cold. So this little stick just blocks up that entrance so the bees can't come out and uh, bug me. And then um, I go around to the back. Uh, these bottom boards um, are, uh, they have a drawer in them. So I'm gonna take this drawer out. And it's below, the, there's a screened bottom in there. So that the, uh, so it's over here. So, so the, the, so you can get to the, to the back of the hive, you can get in there and do stuff. So I've, in the back there, I'm going to put, I've got this board here that I made. I'm just going to slide this one in that slot. Okay, and you notice it's got a groove right here. And that is for my burner. Okay. The burner is plugged in. It's, it's a 12 volt setup. So I've just got it hooked up to uh, a couple of other leads that go to my battery charger which isn't plugged in right now. So let's go ahead and plug that in. This, the reason for the 12 volt is so that you can, uh, um, if, you, you're, if you don't have electricity by your beehives, you just bring a 12 volt battery. Okay, so now this is saying, see I've got it on. Yeah, anyways. So now this burner is getting hot. In a few minutes it'll be all warmed up. Here's a can of oxalic acid and a little measuring spoon. And let me just wait a minute for that thing to heat up. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this stuff out. Just a, a tiny dab. There we are. So that one seems to be warmed up. Now you don't wanna breathe that stuff because your lungs really hate it. So if you catch a whiff, you'll be like, oh! So I just hold my breath. <laughs> Anyways, so first I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. I'm going to put my burner, set it in its little groove. I like to do it this way so that I don't risk, um, I don't risk uh, getting my beehive on fire because, you know, wax is flammable, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to take a healthy dose here of oxalic acid crystals and I'm going to hold my breath. Okay, let's see. So it wasn't quite hot enough. It didn't, but it'll heat up in a minute and boil those guys off. So I'm just gonna sit there for a few minutes and then check it. I'm gonna hold my breath again. Okay. Um, so yeah, I put that little cloth there just to keep it trapped in there. But it's it's a uh, my burner wasn't particularly very hot, and so it's slowly working its way in there. Um, I, I should have got let it got a little bit hotter first, but it's okay. I'll wait a few more minutes. I'll probably do another dose after that one just to make sure it's good. Cool screened bottom boards. It's just the bottom board here, and the entrance is on this side at the front of the hive. And there's this drawer. I got these on uh, Amazon, and they're for hive beetle. You put oil in there or something. I haven't had a problem with the hive beetles, but I like the I like the access to the hive in there. Um, now I did I did I did cut out I did cut out some holes in the bottom of them, um, just so that for more ventilation, just if you know for humidity and such. And also I put. I put some screws partially in there just to prevent, we get a lot of wind here sometimes, and just to prevent a hive from wanting to blow off my hive stand, which is also pretty cool, by the way. Uh, cinder blocks, 
and then they make these cinder blocks that have this divot in the top and it's perfect for a 4x4. Four 4x4 four. Four four goes along to the same setup over there and this hive stand is rock solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's let's check on this uh, oxalic acid again. Hold my breath. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give him another shot of uh, crystals here. Hold my breath in here in a minute. Charge with one hand. Okay, should be good. Hold my breath. Okay. Well, it's pretty much depleted. Uh, I'm going to call it good. Um, so yeah, that's it. And don't forget to take off the entrance reducer, or the, the entrance blocker. Bye.